Welcome back to another episode of Marcel Hyde Mindset. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this content with someone that you think it can help them grow. And don't forget to grab my ebook. The link is in the bio, okay? And I do apologize. I don't have my mic today. Unfortunately, I forgot the attachment for my mic. And sometimes that's just the way it goes. At first, I was like, oh, let me just shoot this video another day. Or, you know, I'm not going to do it today. But at the end of the day, it might not be as clear as the other videos. But it's not about how clear it is sometimes. It's the words that I'm saying that you guys could take and apply to your life. So, you know, even been even having doing content for two years, you still make these silly little mistakes. You know, it should be something that is, you know, second nature by now because this is what I do every week. But it happens, you know, and what do I do? I just shake it off, continue to shoot the video and film, you know, the good content and produce the good content for my viewers and my audience and the people that are following me on my journey, okay? And we all have a special journey. I was having a conversation with someone this week. I did a podcast on Monday and I just spoke about everybody's unique. Everybody has a unique experience. Everybody's been through similar things, but at the same time have been through different things, meaning that everyone can create content and, you know, put a message out there that could help someone because there's something that the viewer that's watching this show right now has been through that they could teach me something in their life that they've gone through that I haven't gone through an experience where they could tell me about and that's going to help me in my own life. And that's what, what this channel is all about, what I'm about, personal growth, personal development, learning from each and every single individual in the world, okay? Don't forget that. And today's message, I wanna talk about just doing your best and becoming the best in whatever situation that you are in. And, you know, maybe you're early in your career, right? A lot of people, maybe they're just starting their career, maybe they're in the middle of a career, maybe they're, you know, looking for a career change. But I do wanna say that, you know, I've been employed for, let's say a minimum of 10 years now. And one thing I could say from working is no matter what job you're in, give 150% you know, try to learn all the rules, all the regulations, you know, go above and beyond. You are going to get people that are going to be jealous of you, people that are going to hate, but that just comes with being the best or trying to be the best version that you can be. And the reason why I say no matter what you're doing, you could be at McDonald's, you could be, um, you know, working for the government, whatever it is, I always suggest that you do the best job possible. And it's not always for the company, but it's for yourself because if you're able to give everything, if you're able to do your job at the highest level, you know, I'm trying to move away from the word try, but do your job at the highest level, then that's only going to transfer and translate over to other areas of your life. Because how you do one thing in your workplace, you're just going to do that thing in another area of your life. So how you do one thing is how you do everything. I really strongly believe that. So when you're at your workplace, you know, don't be lazy. Don't do the bare minimum, you know. Do more, volunteer more, step up more. And if your goal is to stay in the company, then that's only going to help you because then you're going to get a promotion at some point. Because as we know, and people that do work, how many people are actually giving it their all? You know, a lot of people are just going through the motions. You know, I get it. Things are hard. You know, you're stressed out. You don't like the job. But if you can go 150%, you will separate yourself and you will go notice. When the time comes for the employer to say, hey, we have four or five positions. Your name's one of them that comes up because you've gone above and beyond. And I only know this because I've been at jobs and I was there and I was just there. You get what I mean? I was just there. I know a lot of people can relate to that. You were just there. You were just going through the motions. It was just a paycheck to you. You know, I saw other people move up, but the people that moved up had more of a passion than I did. They were excited to be there. They, you know, went above and beyond. They volunteered, not volunteer, but they stepped up when... When there was trainings that were offered, they were the ones that always had their hand up to go to these trainings. When there were, you know, individual groups or subgroups within the company, they would join those groups, right? So they, they were just eager to, to get more and get more involved. And then because of that, that led them to falling in favor of the political side when it comes to like, you know, moving up in a position or when a position does become available, you know, the person that was kind of laid back, the person that didn't go 150% doesn't really get notified, but the person that was giving it their all, sometimes, you know, the person that's hiring could directly come to them and say, hey, there's an opportunity here. You know, you should go for it because they've noticed that this person is giving it their all. So no matter where you are, if you're at Burger King, you know, you could still move up to a manager. If you're at, 
you know, just cleaning at a gym. You can still move up to a general manager. It's all possible. I've, I've seen it all. You know, it all comes down to you. But don't be in a situation and be like, I hate this and I'm going to do nothing. I hate this and I'm just going to give the bare minimum. And sometimes, because social media, they put that message out there. They say, oh, why should you give everything to your employer? Your employer is not loyal to you. You know, they can let you go immediately, yet you're giving your whole life to the employer. But you can look at the other side as well, too. You're giving your life to the employer, yes, but you're also getting money in return so you can live and survive. If you don't have an employer, clearly you need one, because if you didn't need one, you wouldn't be there. So you need that employer to give you money in order for you to live, you know, your shelter, your food, your clothing, you know, your other things that you're, you need money for, right? So don't knock working or your employer because they're the people that are funding your life right now, right? So you can't knock them. But on social media, obviously, we have so many people that come on the platform and say, don't be loyal to your job, give the bare minimum. And that's not the right approach because at the end of the day, that's not a reflection of the company. That's a reflection of you. If I'm giving a bare minimum, that's me. That's my character. I'm giving bare minimum. It's not the company. It's me. Company is what it is. We all know that. It's me, right? And I can have in my mind, I'm not going to be here forever. But if I'm going 150%, I know that God, the universe, whatever you believe in, I believe in God, that will give you a new opportunity because God could see that you are going extra hard. And if you believe in the universe, the universe reciprocates. You know, you're, whatever you're putting out there, the universe will give you right back. So it's just like, I'm putting 150%. The universe has been feeling that energy and seeing that energy. It's just going to give me back in return what I've been putting out. So you're not doing it for your employer. You're doing it for you. So people that come on and say, you know, don't give effort and, you know, show up the minute before and leave the minute right after. You know, don't listen to those people. So think for yourself. You know, you have a brain. Think. Use it to think. You know, ask yourself these questions, you know, and who are you following? Who are you listening to? Which creators are you, you know, obsessed with? You know, because... I find now with social media, some there's people out there that are obsessed with certain people out there, you know, and they just binge watch all their shows and their episodes. And, and that is essentially who you become, right? What you watch, you become, you know, who you surround yourself. It's easy to become, you know, there's some people who are able to block that. They can watch something that doesn't affect them. And some people can be around people and they're not influenced. But the majority of people are influenced by the people that they surround themselves with. The majority of people are influenced by the videos that they're watching out there. So, you know, be mindful of the people that you're watching and listening to and spending your valuable time with online, right? Because that is your time that you could never get back. You know, that time you sit online for hours on hours on hours, you know, just make sure you're, you're filling your mind with the positive. You're filling your mind with the educational. You're filling your mind with the uplifting. You're filling your mind with things that are going to excel you and, and propel you and put you forward in this life and allow you to live longer you know, and build better relationships and be a better person. Make sure that's your focus, all right? So remember, whenever you're at your job, whenever you're doing anything, give it your all. Even at the gym, you know, give it your all, whatever you can. Give everything you have into it. You know, don't give half. What's the point of going? If you're just giving half, what's the point? Give everything you have. You will see the benefits. You will see the rewards. It's compound interest. You may, you're definitely not going to see it right away. But over time, you will reap what you sow, you will reap the rewards of, you know, committing yourself to your job, committing yourself to going to the gym and doing workouts. But most importantly, you are committing to yourself. And that's what it's all about. I've committed to myself. And because I've committed to myself, I'm showing up 150%. I'm giving it my all. All right. So don't forget that. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel, grab my ebook. I'm having so much fun shooting these videos. You know, it's honestly not even about the money. I just love it, man. I just love filming and being creative and just sharing the gift that God has given me because you are gifted as well, too. So tap back into that. Figure out what your gift is. You know, comment below and just get tapped into the channel. And keep having fun. Enjoy each and every day. It's a gift. It's a blessing to wake up today. All right. If you've woken up today and you're watching this video, just remember that's gratitude right there. The simple fact that you've been given another chance in this life, you should just be grateful from there, all right? Mindset is everything.